So this, ladies and gentlemen, is the Volkswagen T-Roc. It's uh, one of four SUVs that Volkswagen intends to launch in India in the next two years. Uh, this one's coming fairly soon. Volkswagen has already opened bookings for the same. And right now, we're going to check it out quickly. I'll tell you what it's like on the outside. So, uh, in Volkswagen's words, this is uh, possibly its most youthful model. Uh, it's a nice, hunkered down, chunky, sporty looking SUV. Uh, it's a five seater. Quickly take a look inside. It's got these color coded interiors. Standard VW fare. It's a straightforward design but uh, looks quite nice. We've got a touchscreen infotainment system here, controls over here. Now I'll quickly get in the back, show you what it's like uh, in the rear seat. So at the back uh, is fairly uh, decent amount of space, uh, good headroom, it's got a big panoramic sunroof and uh, I think uh, four people in this will be pretty comfortable. Three at the back could be a bit of a squeeze but uh, I think it will not be a problem for most people. So when you look at it from the back too, uh, it, uh, it's quite smartly styled, it gets these uh, chrome garnish exits. So the T-Roc for India will come with a 1.5 litre TSI turbo petrol engine. Uh, power will be in uh, the range of 150 horsepower and uh, 250 Newton meters of torque. There will be only one gearbox on offer, a 7 speed uh, DSG. Volkswagen has loaded it uh, with all the equipment uh, that you'd want. Another important point to note is that uh, this will be coming in as a CPU. Here's a quick look at some of the features that will be on offer with the T-Roc. 0 to 100 in 8.4 seconds, top speed of over 200 kilometers an hour. Volkswagen is bringing this in as a full import. It will come in as a CPU. So it will be on the expensive side, but uh, it seems like the company has decided to try and price it as competitively as they can despite it being a CPU. Let us know what you think of the T-Roc. Uh, how much do you think uh, would be a reasonable price for this five-seat SUV? Uh, leave your thoughts in the comments and uh, head to autocarindia.com for more details and pictures from Auto Export 2020.